So now I'm going to tell you about the Lantus Insulin and there's different products used for the Lantus Insulin. The Lantus can be used with the Lantus Solo Star pen, which is a pre-filled insulin pen, or it can be used with a cartridge of insulin, like that. And this insulin cartridge can be used with either this pen or this pen. Mm -hmm. So the difference in these two pens besides the color is that this particular pen, it only dials up to a maximum of 21 units. When you change the dial, it'll only change by one unit increments. This pen is exactly the same as that pen, but it dials to a maximum of 42 units, mm -hmm. but it changes by two unit increments. So you can only go by even numbers, two, four, six, eight, oh. ten, twelve. <clears throat> So they're both exactly the same in how you use them, but I'll just choose this pen here and I'll show you how this one's used. Okay. okay. So the one <clears throat> that dials by two, is that a higher dosage? That's right. This one oh. only goes, this one goes to 42 units. Okay. And this one goes to 21. Okay. Okay. So this is the AutoPen 24 and it comes with a cap on it, just like a regular pen comes with a cap on it. And what I do is I pull the lid off and then these two pieces unscrew in the middle and so what I do is I just hold each side and I unscrew the two pieces and it comes apart. The insulin tube, you fit the purple end into this section here like that and then I'm going to screw the, this piece back together again. Each glass tube or each glass cartridge of insulin, it holds 300 units. On this end here is the dial, mm -hmm. and where the triangle is next to the solid line, mm -hmm. that's at zero. And when I turn the dose, the first one, the first click is one unit, mm -hmm. the next one is a second unit, but it's very easy to hear and to feel the clicks. That's how you change the dose. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I was going to use this tube, this pen for the first time, I'm going to take a needle. Each needle comes with a piece of paper on it. I'm going to pull the piece of paper off and then I'm going to screw the needle over top of the pen. Turn it on all the way. Okay. Okay. Each needle comes with two caps. This is the outside cap and I just pull it off. And This is the inside cap and I hold onto the tip and just pull that off. Okay. Now this pen's a little bit different than the other pens. When you turn this dial, mm. there's not a button on the end to push. To dispense the insulin, this is a slide button and where the grid area is, if I put my thumb there and then I push, if I slide this down, mm. the insulin will come out and this will return back to its starting point. Can you re um Go backwards with this pen? No. Oh. If you make a mistake with your dialing of the dose up, mm. you have to waste that dose and restart. Oh, okay. So if I was using this for the first time, what I'm going to do is I would put my needle on, take both the caps off, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to prime it or do my safety check. And to do the safety check, I'm going to turn this dial one, two, three, Four. I turn it to number four. Mm -hmm. Then I point the needle up to the ceiling. I put my thumb here and I'm going to slide my thumb up all the way mm -hmm. and I'll see the insulin come out and this will return back to the solid line. Oh. If I didn't see any insulin come out, I'm going to repeat that step. So let's just repeat. Do you want to try? Sure. So up to four. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four. Mm-hmm. And point it up. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So once you've done that safety check, it's also called priming, then you're ready to dial your dose. So next I'm going to show you how you dial your dose. So if you're going to dial your dose, you just turn this, let's say it's going to be to seven. Okay. You turn it to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. All the even numbers have a little dot by it, 
but the solid line is where the odd number is. So you oh. don't see number seven, but it's that number seven between oh. six and eight. Oh, perfect. Okay. So do you want to try that? Sure. I'll just waste this insulin by sliding the button down. So if I'd given that injection, I'd, I'd hold that in my tummy for about uh, six seconds, and then this, do this will come back to the solid line. Oh, okay. So it's seven, and then just slide it down. Okay. And once I push that, do I hold that in there? You said for six seconds? So if you're injecting the insulin, yeah, you can you can slide that down, and then you don't have to hold it all the way, but you would keep it in your tummy, and then you'd wait to see that this line matches up. So you can hold it down, but you don't you don't actually have to hold it all the way down. Oh, okay. You can let that go. Okay. So after I'm finished, so this is only good for one time use. I unscrew the tip. Like that, and dispose of that. Perfect. And just put that back on top. So, each tube of insulin holds 300 units, and as you use the insulin, what's going to happen is that plug is going to get pushed lower, 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 lower until it's empty. Mm -hmm. So, when it's empty and you're ready to put a new tube in, what you're going to do is to unscrew these two pieces again. And then the old tube will come out. It'll be empty. Then you'll go to put a new tube in. As you use the insulin, what's going to be happening is this, this plunger, it's called, will get pushed. It's also called a piston, I should say. This piston gets pushed longer, longer, longer. So when you go to put a brand new tube in, they actually won't fit together. Mm. You have to put this Push. piston back in again. And to put the piston back in, what you do is you hold on to the outside end here and you turn this. You can see I can make it go longer if I turn it the wrong way, but I can make it go shorter. Uh -huh. And I want to make it go shorter until it's flush. Uh -huh. When it's flush, that means I've retracted it all the way. I can take a brand new tube, put the brand new tube in, and then it'll fit together again like that. Okay. okay? So just as a reminder, there's some key points about this insulin pen. The first key point is that when you dial your dose up, it does move by only one unit increments. And if you make a mistake when you dial the dose up, you can't dial back to correct. You have to start all over again. The second key point is when you inject the insulin and you slide the button down, you'll see that this triangle returns to the solid line once you see it at that point, you must leave the insulin pen in the needle in your tummy for 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, when you're finished with the injection and you're ready to pull the needle out, um, you should remove the needle after every injection and only use the needle once. The reason for removing the needle after every injection is that the insulin can end up blocking the needle tip mm -hmm. and you won't get insulin delivery. There's two added pieces that are extra for the AutoPen 24, and these are used as needed or as desired. This piece can fit over the end of the pen. That way, when you turn the dose, it's mm -hmm. easier to hold on to. Mm. That's what that's for. This piece here, what happens is some people, when they're trying to slide the dose down, they find that their finger doesn't touch easily to this area. Mm. So if you clip this over top, it's on a grade, and now a person can actually, it's more ergonomic for their thumb, so that when they push this down, they can hold on to it. It makes it easier. easier. Exactly. Okay. So the AutoPen 24, the green one, this one goes up to a maximum of 21 units, and the blue one dials up to a maximum of 42 units. For people who are visually impaired, there's actually a dot on the end of the pen. Mm. The 21 unit pen has one dot on it, and the 42 unit pen has two dots on it. You can feel which pen is the correct pen to use. Mm. 